Let's go, guys. My name is Dan K. Means, and uh, those who recognize me, I am Dan from Leap 4 Crew, formerly, and uh, here we are on a brand new channel. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because this is brand fucking new, and we are bringing it hype from day one. From day one. We're continuing it from the previous channel, because a bit of a mix and match. We are still the Adelson, Adelson Ampharos, and we are in the semi-final of the APA Wi-Fi it's our first ever semi-final, guys. <laughs> it's our first ever semi-final. I'm talking to Jock right now on Discord. He said, fuck me, I'm nervous. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't too. Uh, Josh is deciding the battle rules. We are flying the flag for Ampharos today. Oh, there it is. Oh, I feel like, hang on. Right, if I win, <laughs> we're do the old Olympics. That's proper loud, isn't it? We're gonna do the old Olympics. <laughs> flag behind me running around they wrap me in tin foil at the end of it if i lose then i'm just gonna cry probably oh my word <laughs> you can see the team on the screen guys we've got tangrove crocodile reggie rock cloister mcginna and galvantula um we have the one thing that gives me confidence going into this is we have beaten this team already or pretty much this team um against tesla mouse early on in the season i think week two we beat this team five nil uh, it's not going to be that easy this time around, guys. I can promise you that. It's not going to be that easy. Jock is a big player, and he is a big game player. Uh, he beats us in the Showdown Season 6 playoffs round 1. Um, no, round, round 1? Yeah, round 1. So, he knows how to beat us. He knows how to beat us. He knows how to get proper in my head. So, it's... Um, I'm... I'm not excited. I won't lie. I'm not excited. I've got my calcs up. I've got everything ready. This is going to be big. Please select participating Pokemon. Let's see who he brings. He brings the Volcarona, the Alolan Persian, the Mandibuzz, the Thunderous, Zydog, and Cobalion. So no Mega Alakazam. That is interesting, to say the least. Um, I think we have got Thunder Spood is as just a suicide lead. So focus Sash. We're just going to get webs up. He does have Mandibuzz for Defog. But as soon as he has Mandibuzz in, um, you know, we can't pressure. We, we have McGinnis with um, Thunderbolt. I think we have Thunderbolt, we have Volt Switch. We have um, Galvantula with, obviously, Electric. And we have Cloyster as well. So we are going to leave Galvantula. We've got an Assault Vest McGinnis. We've got especially Defensive Rindoberry Pietotem to deal with Volcarona, as it did so well last time uh, when we played this team. And uh, the classic White Herb um, Cloyster. We brought Scarf Crocodile. Um, again, mainly for... The Mega Alakazam. Uh, it's not here, but I'm sure Crocodile can still put in work. So a Scarf Stone Edge is going to hurt. Scarf EQ. Um, once the uh, once the Mandibuzz, uh, he's got the Mandibuzz and the the Thunderous. Stone Edge is going to be the move that's going to put in work against his team. Three of his Mons are weak to rocks, um, so if we can get our rocks up as well, that would be really really good. The match is starting. Fuck me. This is big. This is big. For those wondering why I'm on a new channel, uh, thanks to a fresh start. Um, Fancy the fresh start. It's not going to be. It's going to be less pressure than being Leap for Crew. I, I don't have to. I, I, I just. I'm keen to do things my own way, and I say less pressure of. I know I can I kind of do whenever I want. Um, so it'll be irregular uploads. But he leads the thunderous. He leads the thunderous. That's absolutely fine. So we can get webs up. Um, or we could go for an HP ice. I wonder how much HP ice does. I wonder how much HP ice. He probably just goes for Alt switch. This is exactly the the turn one when we played this team last. But let's uh, let's have a look at Galvantula and Thunderous. Um, he's Thunderous Therium. Thunderous Therium. Um, a Thunder on us level fifty. Level fifty. Remember. So he can't actually do too much to us. Uh, a HP ice doesn't actually do too much to him either. I am just happy to get my sticky webs up. I'm happy to get my sticky webs up. He probably just volt switches. Sludge wave. I wonder how much that does. Just over half. I mean, sorry, just over three quarters, sort of, um, almost. Uh, and I'm happy to... I'm happy to just HP Ice, to be honest. Or I could go... I could go into Magina. I could go into Magina. And completely sack this thing. Uh, not sack this thing. Or I, could, I could sack this thing, or I could go into Magina. Um, predicting another sludge wave. He could just he could just um, volt switch at this point. Uh, one thing I don't have is one thing I don't have 
is my he specs he specs i'm going he specs that specs damage that specs damage um i'm pretty sure choice specs i oh, know choice specs doesn't do that much no i don't think it specs um hmm okay it's not specs never mind never mind uh what if i go into McGear now? the thunderbolt does quite a lot so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that um i am just gonna suck uh, suck <laughs> sack um thunder speed i'm gonna get a hp ice off before he does that um i'm fine to do that we pop his ice berry so that's really really good for us Straight away, we pop his Ice Berry. So, it does take, weaken the damage he takes. But he just goes for another Sludge Wave. Um, so, that's that's nice. We've we've popped that Berry now. So. With uh, with Galvantula now gone, I'm just going to take him off the layout. And I'm pretty sure... I can just go into Rico. I'm just going to go into Rico. And he probably, he's probably knows I'm Scarf. Just for me bringing this in. I don't know what he can do to me. I don't know how much a Sludge Wave, Sludge Wave would do to Crocodile. Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. Uh, whereas a Stone Edge obviously would take it out. So his ideal switch in here is to go into Cobalion. Alternatively, however... I think he might go into the Zydog. He might go into the Zydog, which is absolutely fine if he wants to do that. I am free to just go for a Stone Edge, to be honest. I think he could go into Cabalion. He could go into Cabalion. I'm going to Earthquake. I shouldn't... Oh, we've got a disconnect. Right. Fucking hell of a job. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We've just uh, recreated uh, the turns up until that point. Uh, it does give me a little bit more time to decide what to do um, in this situation. Because uh, if he brings in the Zydog... I keep searching Zygarde. Zygarde, Zydog, sorry. Zygarde 10%, right? Uh, level 50. An earthquake hurts. I'm gonna make that prediction. Uh, but that's exactly what he wants me to do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make that prediction. I'm gonna go EQ. He does withdraw. He does withdraw. Persian. Okay, this this could hurt. This could hurt Persian. Okay, it does less than half. It does less than half. Now he can. Does it get U turn? Does it get U turn? So I'm gonna have to check quickly. So I know he gets part shot, obviously. Does it get U turn? Does get U turn. Okay. So can we just calculate, please? U turn. U turn does like 30%. Um, so to be honest. No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna make the switch. I'm just gonna. Make, mm. I'm sure she just U-turns. Do about thirty percent to me. I'm gonna make the prediction. No, I don't think it's right. Okay. Okay. Obviously, a U-turn will do nothing to McGear, I'm pretty sure. Um, Iron Lady. Yeah, U-turn does absolutely nothing to me. So I'm happy to just make that switch, to be honest. I'm just going to make that switch. No Amoongus either, so we have got safety goggles McGear now for nothing, which is annoying. Um, we'll see the U-turn probably come in here. We'll go to the parking shop. So I could have could have stayed in, probably. But... Um, this way, I kind of, I still keep that bluff of if I'm scarfed or not. Um, he probably knows I'm scarfed. He probably knows I'm scarfed. So he goes out into Volcarona here.
caught in a sticky web. Now, I don't want to stay in, obviously. I don't want to take a fiery dance. So, I'm just going to go straight out to uh, Regirock. Um, and he can quiver dance if he wants to. Honestly. I didn't think I didn't think about the, the, the pivot bringing in Volcarona. That's not something that I, I really uh, thought too much about. Um, didn't really give too much thought. So, I'm making that switch into Regirock. Because it is our dedicated Volcarona answer. It does do the job. He probably just goes for a Giga Drain predicting it. Then it goes for a fiery dance. So, we do completely wall this. Which is nice. Um, you see it does absolutely nothing to us. Now he switches out here. So I'm just going to get my rocks up. I'm just going to get my rocks up. Let's say if he wants to Giga Drain me, he can. If he wants to Giga Drain me, he can. I'm looking for <laughs> I'm looking for a pen. I'm looking for a pen. I think I've found one. I have. Does this work? Though? Okay, so yeah, it does work. <laughs> Thundy. Volk. Uh, Persian, Lolan, the, the jock absolutely loves. Probably his future mascot <laughs> once he decides to ditch the Lanoon. Um, what is it? Mandibuzz, Mandy. Um, yeah, he does withdraw, so that's fine. We got our rocks up. Goes into Mandibuzz. Okay. Okay. Uh, interesting, interesting switch. Oh, uh, he can just defog now. This is the thing. He can just defog. I wish I went for Thunder Wave straight up, to be honest. Um, what was his other ones? Cobra, Cobra Leon, and Cobra Leon and Zydog. Zydog. Right. Okay. So we've got our Red Rock in. What can we do to a defensive Mandibuzz? Fire play does quite a lot to us, so I don't want to stay in. Oh my god, it does. Oh no, level 50. Level 50, I forget. Level 50. Uh, a Stone Edge does like 50%, but you can just roost it up. Um, so I'm tempted actually, just on the Toxic, on the Defog, I'm just going to throw off a Toxic. That's fine, I can't, I can't stop the Defog. I'm just going to throw off a Toxic because it puts this thing on a timer. So we land it, which is nice. We land it, which is nice. Now. I'm sure he doesn't want to take Stone Edge. He probably just goes into Zydog. So I'm actually going to make quite an aggressive play. No, not even aggressive. Yeah, aggressive. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go cloister. I'm gonna go cloister. Even though cloister sweeps. Even though cloister sweeps. It goes for a U-turn. Okay, that's that's fine. Say so it won't do any damage to us really. Um, but he can just bring in the thunderous now. He's got a lot of pivots on this team, and that's the one thing I have to be wary of. See, ah, made that aggressive play. Made that aggressive play. I wish I'd just stayed in and kept... He goes into Cabalion. Okay, because he knows his walls. He knows his walls and the close combat hurts. So, I'm just going to switch out. I'm just going to switch out. And I'm pretty sure... He can just Volt Switch, to be honest. I'm pretty sure, right, I would not surprise me, right, just from dealing with Cobalion being a cloister answer before, would not surprise me if he's scarfed. So, predicting the Volt Switch, predicting the Volt Switch, if he goes for a close combat, I, I'm dead. But I'm pretty sure he just goes for a Volt Switch, to be honest. He has no need. He has no need to go for a close combat straight away. I'm going to make this play, to be honest. It's probably not a good one. Or I could go into Afro Man. That's probably the safer play. 
The question is, do I want to play safe, though? It's a safer play. I'm just going to go Tangrowth. It is a safer play. If he Volt switches, I'm going to be really annoyed myself. He went for the close combat, so he made the right play. We made the right play, which is good. <laughs> which is very, very good. Um, so now, right. I do... I want to predict... Maybe the Volcarona coming out. I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide. I'm going go for a Rock Slide. Predicting the Volcarona coming out. I don't think it kills. He does withdraw. Thunderous. Okay, so let's see how much this does to Thunderous. Decent amount. Decent amount. Now, Thunderous is the Zemon, so then Slug Wave is obviously a thing. So we are going to switch out. Um, and we are just going to go... I wonder how much Z Sludge Wave does to Crocodile. Um, Thunderous. Therian. Sludge Wave. Uh, stop being level 50. Stop being level 100, sorry. On the Calx. Uh, and what was I checking? I wanted to check Crocodile. I want to check Crocodile. Sludge Wave doesn't do too much. Um, so I can just get that pressure off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna be quite aggressive here. Predicting the sludge wave, just did twenty focus blast. That's this gonna hurt. That was a nice prediction. That was a nice prediction. Now this thing is a problem. Now this thing is a problem. I'm not in a good I'm not in good shape here, lads, I won't lie to you. Focus Blast does a lot to, to Reggie Rock. Doesn't do that much to Magina. Like as in a deadly amount. I wish I stayed in. I wish I stayed in. Sludge Wave does do a lot. But it doesn't doesn't kill me. Unless he's Z. He's probably Z. Oh no, he's not Z. We know his we know his item. Fuck. Okay. Um Things we know we live. But then he can just go into Zydog. So no, that's not the play. That's not the play. Unfortunately, I think we have to go into Magirna. He might suspect the West Garth, maybe. He might suspect the West Garth. Um... I'm sure he just stays in, sacks the Thunderous, and gets damage off. I'm sure that's what he does. So I'm just going to Ice Beam. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, we show him that we're not AV. Magirna does kill the Thunderous. So we're still not in a good place. I won't lie to you. Um, oh, we get the Soul Heart, which is nice. Mags. Um, ice Beam. Now, does he go Cabalion here? I forgot to uh, put the crook down on the layout. Yeah, we're not in good shape, but we know... We know that Cloyster does bits. We know that Cloyster does bits. He goes out into the Volcarona. Okay, um, so we, again, we do still have Red Drop for this. 
We do still have Red Rock for this. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go Red Rock. It's a play to make. Um, I'm not. I'm not feeling good about this. This. It's not looking good for us, guys. I won't lie. Um, trying to think end game. A cloister can sweep still. A cloister can sweep still. Um, if we can get a shell smash set up. If we can get a shell smash set up, then we're, we're, we're Gucci. We're pretty Gucci. I'll just go into Pierre Totem. If he quiver dances, that's fine. You know, he goes for another fire dance. He doesn't want to risk McGee and staying alive, and that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, he's not getting the boost either. That doesn't really matter. Um, to be honest, I'm going to go for a Stone Edge. Predicting that he'll think I might just get my rocks up. Or, or predicting that he goes into Mandibuzz. And Mandibuzz can't take two, two rock Stone Edges. He cannot take two Stone Edges. If he wants to Giga Drain, I am Rindo. This could be a huge turning point in the game. This could be a huge turning point in the game. Waiting to see what he's going to do, man. Ah, I fucking... I, lo I love and I hate playing against Jock. Jock is the one person you love to... You hate to love playing against him. Just because you know it's going to be a good game. And especially with us, where we, we talk. We talk on Scott quite a bit, on Discord. And you can just tell he's trying to get in my head. He does withdraw. Does withdraw. Goes down to the Mandibus. So we'll see how this does. Oh, we missed the Stone Edge. Which is annoying. Um, which is annoying. At the end of the day, he probably just wants to go for a U-turn. If he does, that's fine. I might Ice Punch. Predicting the Zydog. I might Ice Punch predicting the Zydog. Mandibuzz. Alright, defensive. Level 50. Okay. Ice Punch doesn't do too much, does like 25%. Um, end of the day, he can't really do too much to us. Zygarde, 10%. Call it a choice band. Level 50. An ice punch kills. I'm going to make that play. I am going to make that play. Predicting the U-turn coming out here. Predicting the U-turn to come out here. Does go for a U-turn. Show me the Zydog. Show me the Zydog. Show me the Zydog. Show me the Zydog. He probably goes out Cobalion because it's the safest play. But he needs Cobalion. He needs Cobalion healthy. He needs Cobalion healthy. This could be why he goes into Zydog. He needs Cobalion healthy to deal with Shell Smash Cloyster. Show me the Zydog. Show me the Zydog. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. I won't lie. I'd love to see it. Show me the Zydog. Show me the Zydog. Show me the Zydog. Show me the Zydog. Give it to me. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Persian. Fuck. Yeah, Persian's the most dispensable member of his team, so fair enough. Ah. Get the freeze. No freeze. Okay. Now. Whole different beast to deal with here. Persian Alola. He probably just goes for a, part a parting shot again. This is the annoying thing. So I'm just going to get my rocks up. I'm just going to get my rocks up. He probably parting shots again. Um. Guess what taunt? You little shit! Little shit! That's okay, okay. So I have to switch now, and he will just go for a parting shot. 
So I am just going to go into Afro Man. I'm just going to go into Afro Man. He just goes to Parting Shot. Definitely. 100% he goes to Parting Shot. Toxic. Wish I went Magina. <laughs> Wish I went Magina. Um, but he probably... Uh, he's read me completely. Read me completely. And I don't mind this being poisoned. Um... Well, I am going to make an aggressive double. Now, he probably just parting shots again. This is the thing. He probably just parting shots. I'm going to go for the HP Ice. Because I've got to make, start making plays. Foul play! Why? Stop foul playing me. <laughs> I really want to catch this side dog, man. You can tell. You can tell I want to catch this side dog. Now he probably part in shots. Now he probably part in shots. This is the annoying thing. Um, but I'm honestly happy to just go. How much does a foul play do to him again? Obviously, minus attack nature probably doesn't absolutely nothing. Um, but he probably. He pro truth is, he probably part in shots. He probably parted in shots. And I want to play off that. I think he parted in shots and goes into Volcarona. So that's what I'm going to go for this time. There we go. There's the parting shot. There's the parting shot. Come on, man. Show me the Volcarona this time. Show me the Volcarona. He, no way he goes Zydog. No way he goes Zydog. Here goes Volcarona. Mandibuzz. That's fine. We get a bit of damage off. Not a lot at all, but still a little bit. Um, with the poison as well. Adds an extra timer to extra turn to his timer. Um, we're dropping down quite a bit, so I'm going to switch out. Get our regenerator back. Um, and I'm honestly happy to just go into Magina now. Even if he U-turns. But McGinn is my safest play. Well, not safest play, but... Yeah, he U-turns. He had to U-turn there. He had to. Uh, he knew I had to switch. He knew I had to switch. This thing takes up U-turn on the best. Um, and he probably just goes into Volcarona now. This time, though, will he predict the... F will he go into the... Will he go for the Fire Dance? Will he go for the Fire Dance this time? Oh, I think he does, you know. I still think, I still think he goes for the Fiery Dance. Because he thinks I'm bad. He's going to go for He's gonna go for the Fiery Dance. He's going to go for the Fiery Dance. If he goes Giga Drain, then... Um, that's, like, fair enough. Fiery Dance. See? He thinks I'm bad. <laughs> this is the thing. He thinks I'm bad. And I am bad. But I'm not that bad. Ah, uh, now this time he gets the boost. This time he gets the boost. Um, I am just going to go for the Stealth Rock. Uh, make him waste a turn going for Defog. He does withdraw. Bridge goes uh, Mandibuzz. No, goes Persian this time. Now, I have no reason... I'm not, I'm not going to risk Red Rock. I need to keep him healthy. So I am just going to go... Back out into... Hmm. I'm going to go back into Iron Lady. Back into Iron Lady. Parting shot me. Please. Please parting shot me. There's the parting shot. McGee and Volcarona comes back out. I think he goes fire dance again. Honestly, I think he goes fire dance again. Because he's just waiting for me to over predict. And I'm not going to. Well, my, maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I'll over predict his over prediction. Goes I got. Because I got this time. Or a break. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, again, we have our ready made answer. We have Afro Man. We just go Afro Man. Uh, he probably makes a, a cheeky double here. Honestly, he probably makes a cheeky double. Would not be surprised. Would not be surprised. But 
but I have to I have to try and just wear him down as much as I can. By having rocks up, I'm doing that. Uh, limits how much he can pivot around, especially um, you know Persian's getting low. Mandibuzz is toxic as well. It's going to take 25% from rocks when it comes in, so it has to come in at some point. He's keeping the Cabalion healthy, which I knew I know he has to do. I know he has to do that because otherwise, close to sweeps. Otherwise, close to sweeps. I do switch out. He stays in, so he doesn't double. He doesn't double. I go after a man. He probably just goes for a thousand arrows. Goes for a thousand arrows. That's fine. You see here, it does barely anything. Barely anything. Now he has to switch. He has to switch. Or he could predict me. <laughs> or he could predict me. There is no point in him switching. There's no point in him staying in. No point in him staying in. <laughs> I think I think he goes P Persian or he goes Cabalion. How long have I got? I've got 50 seconds. I'm going to take my time to think about this. Um, I'm going to just check Cloyster, right? I wonder how much 1,000 arrows does for Cloyster. Um, Zygarde's 10. I don't know if that was choice banned. Level 50. 1,000 arrows still does quite a lot. 46 to 56%. Honestly, I'm going to predict him to stay in. I'm not going to predict him to stay in, but there's no reason for me not to go for a HP Ice. I think he switches. He does He does switch. That's fine. Goes out to Mandibuzz, so I do get a bit more chip damage off him. Which I am fine with. Look at that. I wonder how much HP Ice does. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. Now, question is, does he defog? No, I'm getting quite low now. I'm getting quite low. I don't want to risk it. He roosts 100%. He roosts 100%. I'm going I'm going cloister. I'm going cloister. He roosts. I'm sure of it. Default. Okay. I'm sure he goes... Oh! That fucking sucks. That's my white herb gone. Fuck. And now Cabalion just comes out. He scarfs, so he outspeeds me. I'm not risking that shit. He goes close combat. 100%. I'll just go after him, man. I have to go after him, man. Um, I wish... I wish I just went for the HP Ice. Close combat. Okay. We pretty much eat that. We pretty much eat that. Um, so, Mandibuzz died to Toxic, which was gotten by Regirock. Reggie, Toxic. So, he has Persian, Volcarona, Zydog, and Cobalion left. I think, I think, thing is, he could just go for another close combat, right? He could just go for another close combat. Because, right, offensive pivot. Level 50. Um, against Magina. A close combat kills. So he could just stay in for another close combat. However... If I, if I let him do that, I can't let him do that, unfortunately. I 
I'm gonna go for an earthquake. He does withdraw. So he wants to go out into Persian. So the Persian goes down here to earthquake. I uh, uh, probably doesn't actually. Probably doesn't. That doesn't go down. What was that? Oh really? fucking hate this thing. We are getting worn down. We are getting worn down. Uh, he just goes for a parting shot, 100%. Um, I've got I've got to go into Magena. I have to go into Magena. I have to go into Magena. He goes parting shot. And he brings in the Volcarona. And then one more time. Maybe he goes Zydog, to be fair, because Zydog still puts in my pressure. I think Volcarona is probably his best play, to be honest. I want to check Pierre Totem against Volcarona. Because even at plus one... I eat a Giga Drain with my berry. I'm keen to see what he's going to do. Zygarde or Volcarona? Honestly, he could go Cabalion. No, he goes Volcarona. He goes Volcarona. I am keen to see if he will fiery dance again. I'm just going Regirock. I'm just going Regirock. Go, go for another fiery dance. Why not? What have you got to lose? Fiery dance. There it is. <laughs> uh, Regirock taking these all day long. He gets the boost. Now, he may think that the Giga Drain will take me out. I'm just going to go for a Stone Edge. I shouldn't have done that. Because <laughs> he switches. Oh, no, he stayed. He stayed. Really? Ah. Oh. Yeah, Bug Buzz does quite a lot. Well. Uh, this is now an issue. Yeah, I think that's game, to be honest. Why does that do so much? Poist has no special defense. Um, I think I have to go into Tangrowth. That is the game, unfortunately, I think, guys, uh, at this point. Um, he doesn't have Fire Blast. He has Fiery Dance. Uh, but a Fiery Dance kills me. A Bug Buzz kills me. Uh, unfortunately, that is the game. Unfortunately, that is the game, I think. Um, trying to think of anything I can do at this point. Um, this thing is just a monster. This thing is an absolute monster. Because you got that boost, the Fire Dance boost, um... No stopping it, unfortunately. Um, absolutely no stopping it. Um, I'm just going to go after a man. Uh, this is this is, is game over. Here's game over. Uh, absolutely cracking game drop. Really, like he he had me on the back foot the whole time. Um, we're just going to go for a rock slide on the off chance he does something stupid. It's jock. It's jock. He does choke, but I'm, I don't think there's any way he loses this. He can just go for a fiery dance. He can just spam fiery dance. Yeah. I wish I had focus banned right now. 
Yeah, after a man's going down. He gets another boost. Yeah, so it is, it is game over now. Unfortunately. We are going to save Cloister for last, just because it's what we do. It's what we do. Ah, it's a very good game. Volcarona is a different beast. Here's a different beast. Um... Gutted, absolutely gutted, guys, because we've had an incredible season. So, absolutely nothing. He <laughs> gets three boosts in a row. Absolutely nothing to be uh, disheartened about, to be honest. Um, uh, as we ever said at the start of the game, Jock is someone that we don't mind losing to because uh, he does just have, he does have our number. Let's be honest, he does have our number. Fire dance does just KO because we have forty-five special defense. Oh, and down goes Cloister. Thank you so much, guys. We don't get to wave this flag, this poster, in celebration. Ah! We don't get to wave this poster in celebration. We do get to wave it in memory of a cracking season, 10 and 2, our best ever season. Uh, and the final season as the Adelson Amphorest, guys. Our final season as the Adelson Amphorest. We are the Chelsea Cloisters. We are Chelsea Cloisters on Showdown. Um, and we will be from now on in Wi-Fi. All I can say is, absolutely cracking team. Had a fucking great time using it this season. And best of luck to Jock in the final, who is playing D-pad. He is playing D-pad, so it's going to be a cracking game. Cannot wait to watch it. Um, uh, I don't have anything more to say. Absolutely fucking cracking game, Jock. Absolutely cracking game. I'm going to dis Discord message him now. Uh, hey, GG, dude. So... <laughs> uh, Awesome game. Awesome game. Well, we, we, we spent the whole game trying to predict each other. Um, unfortunately, he was able to just wear me down eventually. Um, uh, but sweat dripping. <laughs> he's drip he says he's sweat dripping. Um, absolutely, absolutely cracking game. Uh, can't really complain. Uh, it, it just goes to show how big a difference the coach makes. Um, it's annoying because he didn't bring the Amunga, so safety goggles on McGinn was wasted. Um, but... Uh, I wouldn't have changed anything. Like uh, it was, it was there to, to do to do a job. Um, unfortunately, he didn't bring Mega Alakazam. He didn't bring Amoongus, which we thought he'd bring. Um, and uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't have anything more to say. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to like process it all. Just like trying to think where it went wrong. But we didn't. We didn't really miss players such. I think. I think we made the predictions that we needed to. Um, and when, sometimes they came off, sometimes they didn't. Uh, but Jock, as we said, no, as we know, Jock is a great battler, so uh, fully deserved. And good luck to him in the final. And uh, so we'll have a new champion next time this week. So uh, make sure you go check out Jock's channel uh, and Deepad's channel to go check out the final next week. Make sure you check out Jock's channel to see the other side of this battle because I'm sure it's tense as fuck. Uh, he doesn't live com, so it won't be quite as in the moment. But uh, I'm sure he'll tell you all about his uh, his crazy thinkings. But um, I'm going to go chat to him now, find out exactly what he's thinking for myself. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash that like button button, button, like button down below for us. Um, make sure you subscribe because it is a brand new channel, as I said at the start of the video. Um, it's, a, it's a long first video, but brand new channel. Make sure you subscribe and uh, support me going forward. Dan K Memes. Thank you, guys. Peace.